General James Cartwright, Vice Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, recently appeared before the congressional panel. He estimated that it would take another year for Iran to have enough weapons, grade uranium, to make a bomb. But Frank Gaffney scoffs at that estimate. Gaffney served as Ronald Reagan's Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Nuclear Forces and Arms Control Policy. He later served as Assistant Secretary of Defense for International Security Policy. He is founder and president of the Center for Security Policy. So it's safe to say that Mr. Gaffney knows what he's talking about. He says that Iran could go nuclear any day, not years from now. During a recent interview with Newsmax.com, Gaffney said they have been beavering away at nuclear weapons for at least 20 years. And the thing I keep thinking about is it took the United States three years to invent the idea of nuclear weapons, to develop all the capacity to build them, to build them, and to use two of them to military ends. We had no knowledge of the science. We had no access to advanced computers. We had none of the kinds of technical abilities that are currently available worldwide. Having said all that, it has taken the Iranians 17 more years to get to this point than it took us. I've got to believe it could be any day, if not maybe a month or two. Certainly, I would be surprised if it's as long as a year. The former Defense Department official explained why the administration's plan to contain rather than prevent a nuclear Iran is fatally flawed comparing this situation to our policy of containment of the Soviet Union. He said that it's different with Iran because the Soviets were afraid of a nuclear counterstrike. Mr. Gaffney explained why Iran's mullahs would actually welcome it. The Iranian regime is convinced, according to its theology, that bringing back the 12th Imam, the Mahdi, the Messiah figure, is their highest purpose, and in order to do so, According to their religious beliefs, something very much like the apocalypse needs to take place. It seems to me the height of folly to think you'll be able to dissuade them from pursuing that end, perhaps by starting a nuclear war. If we think we can deter mullahs who are committed to an apocalyptic messianic program, we're kidding ourselves. For years now, our government has refused to recognize or acknowledge that Iran must be physically stopped from acquiring nuclear weapons. The Iranians cannot be intimidated into stopping. They're not afraid of war. In fact, a war is exactly what they want. If we wait until they're capable of fighting that war, then we've waited too long. Israel has learned that Syria secretly supplied Hezbollah in Lebanon with advanced anti-aircraft systems and long-range missiles. According to some reports, those missile stockpiles include scuds, you know, like those used against Israel and coalition forces by Saddam Hussein during the first Gulf War. Last week, the Kuwait-based al Riyadh newspaper reported that Syria had transferred scuds missiles to Hezbollah. On Thursday, the Kuwaiti paper reported that Hezbollah had confirmed receiving a shipment of scud missiles from Syria. Hezbollah officials Hussein Haj Hassan told Al Manar TV on Friday, it's only natural for Lebanon to have the means to defend itself against an Israeli attack. This infusion of fresh ordnance and the subsequent media spin may confirm growing speculation of an attack against the Jewish state by Hezbollah in Syria, backed by Iran. During a recent visit to Washington, King Abdullah of Jordan forecast an outbreak of hostilities this summer. An Israeli intelligence source noted that Iran is financing Hezbollah in Syria, which has opened up its military supplies to them and is being repaid by Iran. It appears that Tehran is preparing a flanking attack by Syria against Israel in the event of an Israeli attack on its nuclear weapons facilities. Syria has supplied Hezbollah with surface-to-surface -surface missile capabilities of striking Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and the Israeli nuclear reactor at Daimona in the Negev Desert. The Syrian FAR-5 and the Fatah-100 have a range of 
at least 180 miles. Each is capable of carrying a 500-pound conventional warhead. Syria is also known to have retrofitted entire batteries of rockets to carry non-conventional biological and chemical warheads. Ehud Barak, Israel's defense minister, says that Hezbollah has a stockpile of more than 40,000 rockets and missiles. Uzi Rubin, an Israeli missile expert, estimated that 13,000 of them are aimed at Israel at any one time. In the light of massive arming of Hezbollah by Syria, Israel is putting Syria on notice in no uncertain terms. According to the London Sunday Times, Israel recently delivered a very pointed warning to Syria. Israel told Syrian President Bashar Assad that it will respond to missile attacks from Hezbollah, the militant Lebanese-based Islamist group, by launching immediate retaliation against Syria itself. In a message sent earlier this month,